so we have seen how to validate input and handle exception in our previous uh, video but we have used uh, this older style of try and catch block in our controller to catch the unhandled exceptions the downside of this approach is that uh, we need to repeat this try catch block in all of our code uh, where we want to catch the exception but we have a better approach now uh, to handle the exception uh, globally in dotnet core it gives us an opportunity to implement exception handling uh, globally with very little efforts uh, by using a uh, built-in ready to use middlewares in this video we will see how to use this inbuilt uh, middleware and then we will create our custom middleware to handle all of our exception at centralized place with more uh, flexibility to customize our error messages so let's see how to handle exception uh, using inbuilt uh, middleware first You already know that dotnet core uh, provides a flexibility to add the middleware component in a request pipeline uh, using this configure method uh, in startup.cs file middleware is nothing uh, but a component uh, which is executed on every request in asp.net core application each middleware adds or modify http request and optionally uh, passes control to the next middleware component as discussed in our previous lessons as well that sequence of defining these middleware component in the pipeline is important so any of exception handling middleware should be called early in the pipeline so they can catch exceptions that occur in later stages of the pipeline so if the environment is development this method will capture the exception and return a detailed trace in the else part means if it is not a development environment we can add a built in middleware using app dot use exception handler uh, to the pipeline and this middleware can catch the unhandled exception and we should be able to modify the http response to send back the error message here in this method this exception handler method provides the option uh, and we can use this option to add a middleware delegate uh, to the application request pipeline uh, using run method it accepts a parameter of a request delegate and request delegate is a method uh, which handles the request and this is the signature of that method so it means uh, we need to pass another function in this run method and uh, whose signature uh, should match with request delegate let's make it async and as per the signature it should accept the http context parameter let's name it context and now in this method uh, we can manipulate the response as per our need so using this context dot response dot status code we can set the status code to 500 or we can uh, use http status code enumeration uh, to get the various error code numbers let's bring it from uh, system.net and see here we have enumeration of different types of error codes let's select internal server error here it's giving error as it cannot automatically convert uh, to the integer so we need to typecast it to the integer also get the reference of exception in a where uh, using context dot feature dot get and the feature uh, that we uh, need to get here is the type of i exception handler feature bring it from diagnostic so now we can check uh, if an exception is not null uh, we can write it to the http response uh, using context dot response dot write async and we need to bring in asp.net core and dot http and here we can write the error message uh, using exception dot error dot message that's it so now our middleware should handle all the unhandled exception at this level and it should write the error message to the response as well let's save it and uh, test the api make sure uh, you are in production mode or uh, to test it run the application using dotnet run let's send a request on the update city method where we are throwing an exception and see we get the error from our global exception handler and if we look at the terminal we are getting this exception trace here with more diagnostic details 
So now all the unhandled exception will be handled here uh, centrally uh, without using try catch block. Let's try to throw a different type of exception uh, from get cities method. So for example, suppose if a user who is not authorized to access this method is trying to call this function, our application will throw an unauthorized exception here. But we have not handled this exception. And if now we try to get the cities, see, we'll get 500 internal error because uh, we have set 500 error only uh, for all types of exception. And this error message we are getting from the exception uh, class automatically. So it's working fine. But we have written all of the logic here in startup.cs file only. This is uh, really making our code uh, too messy. What about if we should be able to put all of this code in another method and uh, we should be able to call that method here only like this. But how we can add a method uh, to this existing type without modifying it or creating another derived type uh, for the same. The good news is that we can add a method to any type on fly without modifying the underlying uh, class or creating a new derived type using the extension methods. Let's see how we can refactor this code using the extension method next. Add a new folder in the root directory and, uh, and give it a name extensions as we are going to put more extension uh, in this folder. Add a new class and name it exception middleware extensions. This class uh, should be a static class. Add a method to this class. And extension method should always be a static method. And as we do not want to return anything from this method, mark it as void. Let's name it configure exception handler. And it is mandatory that the first parameter of this method should be preceded by this modifier. And it should specify which type this method will operate on. As we need to add the extension to this app parameter and its type is i application builder, we will use i application builder as type here. Bring it from ASP.NET Core Builder. Also, we will take this if else block as well in the extension method. Uh, we should be able to pass this environment uh, parameter in our extension method. So, take this parameter as well here in extension method. Now we can put all of this code in our extension method. Add all the required namespaces. Bring in this extension dot hosting. White is giving the error here. Oh, I forgot to name this parameter. And for this, bring in system dot net and it's contained in ASP.NET Core Diagnostic and the last one ASP.NET Core.HTTP. So our extension method is ready. Now we can delete all this code from startup.cs file and we can simply call this method using app dot our method name. Control dot and add web API dot extension and we also need to pass this environment parameter in this method. That's it. You can see how clear now our configure method is. Let's run the application. Showing error on line number 42. Somewhere I missed to put colon, I think. It is already there. Yep, I got it. Seems I did not save these changes. Rerun the application. And submit this request. Perfect, we are getting this error correctly from our extension method now. Let's also see how this application behave in development environment. This time it should return the detailed error response uh, from developer exception page method. Yep, we are getting detailed exception in development mode. So this is how you can use inbuilt middleware to catch and manipulate the unhandled exceptions uh, globally. Next, we'll see how to create our custom exception handling middleware that will give us more control and flexibility over the inbuilt middleware.
let's create a new folder and name it middlewares giving it a plural name as maybe we will add more middlewares uh, in this folder in upcoming lessons add a new class name it exception middleware this class should have a constructor and request delegate will be injected in this constructor at runtime let's name it next as this parameter will allow us to execute other middleware after the execution of this middleware initialize a field for this parameter next we need to create the invoke method request delegate can't process request without this method let's make it async and it should return a task and it should accept http context as parameter name it context and put a try catch block in the try catch block let's use a request delegate and pass context here as parameter i can see error here we need to bring in system.threading.task so if we use this middleware at the top of the request pipeline that means we are putting all of our application code in try catch block and if any of subsequent middleware throw an exception this catch block will catch the error and here we have a chance to handle that exception as per our requirement let's catch the system exception here and handle the exception here in catch block we can use context dot response to perform various operation on incoming request let's set status code equal 500 we will use enumeration here but for now just hard code it here uh, to see how this middleware works and uh, write the exception we are getting in response that's it and now we can use this custom middleware at the top of this pipeline uh, using app dot use middleware this is a generic method and we can pass our exception middleware here at the reference of this let's see how it behaves in production environment yep our custom middleware is catching the exception and returning error messages in response let's see how it looked like in terminal but we did not get any error log in terminal and if you remember this is the same problem we faced uh, when we used try catch block in our controller methods so how to get this error logged in terminal window if we use custom middleware well dotnet core provides us an option to inject ilogger here and we need to pass the type of class uh, for that we want to use this logging so pass the name of this class only here and name it logger create and assign this field now we can use this logger variable to log the error using logger dot log error and we can pass the exception class here and the exception message as well and let's run the application and test so we should get the error details in terminal now perfect we are getting error log in the terminal as well and we have been able to achieve the same that we have done using inbuilt middleware this is just the basic functionality we have implemented uh, to catch the error globally using this custom middleware but we can do whatever we want at this level for example we can log all of these exceptions in the file system or in the database for uh, further diagnosis next we'll work more on this custom middleware and see what else we can do at this level for example at present we are returning this plain html error message in response we can return json content here uh, with more details that we can use in our angular application we will see all those in action in our next video so stay tuned see you in next video bye bye